Thank you, Banner Banner. Welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade Banner Lord. As we get into the campaigns of the House of Lego, and we have caught the enemy King of Sturgia once more. And so now we shall ride into battle Follow me! and murder him. Now, I don't know who's actually you know, coming with me. Apparently, I am to protect the right flank of the friendly infantry and also stay in reserve at the same time. Oh, by the way, my new horse. My Vlandian courser. Hey, are you my dude? You're my dude, right? Yes. There are two of us. <laughs> Uh, dude, I have news. The right flank is about to collapse. <laughs> Alright, let's get ready for this. If you're not set up, folks. Oh, we are to pull back. Uh, I'm pulled back. I'm on your right flank. In reserve. Okay, is the reserve falling back? Apparently so. I'm gonna let the cavalry move it. Charge at center enemy horse archers. Uh, sure. Okay, let's do that. Flank from the right side. Can do. That's where I am. Get back here. You dip. There we go. I think I knocked over your horse. I'll take it as a plus. I think we annihilated their cavalry pretty effectively. Could you swing, please? There we go. And then we, we killed him by hitting him with a horse for two damage. Lovely. All right, I'm gonna take my small cohort and we're just gonna go right in. Apparently we are to flank from the right side. I'll take the whole flank with this one. Big indeed. It shall be a glorious and brilliant strategy. Charge an enemy center? No, I'm, I'm a flank, man. I don't know what, what you're thinking I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna flank back here, I'm gonna set up with a bow, and we're just gonna kill this massive infantry. Although there are apparently some who are holding off. Virgin Warrior Sun. Damage delivered. There's a horse. Unfortunate. I try not to kill horses whenever practicable. But the simple fact of the matter is that sometimes it's the best way to remove the enemy. Oh yeah, this is just a slaughter. I'm not complaining. I mean, we're winning the war now. And we will have the king in our grasp once more. Alright. Just get in there. Murder everything that you can find. Like that. I love it when I cinematically am able to kill people like that. I'm gonna wait for them to completely wrap up the entirety of the enemy army. Because that way, no survivors. And we can make sure nobody escapes. I am to wait. Alright, we lost 47 people, and my party lost nobody. Uh, in exchange for we killed 129. Good job. So that's the way to do it, if you're gonna do it. Hmm. And apparently we saved Liana, as we anticipated. And I get Uruk! You're my prisoner now. I need to go to a friendly camp somewhere. Uh, apparently I'm about to get troops. Oh god. I have troops now. I'm all over the limit, that's fine. I'm traveling with an army. Speed is not really a concern. Uh, I don't think any of this is going to be any good for what I'm currently doing, but more horses speeds up my party, which is very good. Okay, we are to gather our men. We have another job to do. And we're traveling to Kranarog Castle. This is perfect. Yes, take Kranarog. If we take Kranarog, then it places Varcheg in the most vulnerable position. Mazadan Castle is under siege. We are rushing to save Mazatin Castle now. Daily gold changes minus eight, so not bad. Ride to save my castle, yes. Village is being raided. Oh, you dick. Get back here. Ah, uh, yo. I didn't, ooh, that, oh. Oh, goodness, I didn't realize that. I just, <laughs> so this 102 party, so Liana broke from the army, charged forward, Caught them in a battle which allowed us to catch up. I hadn't realized you could... I hadn't put the building blocks together to do that. That is astonishingly cunning. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Smaller armies do the lock, to the, lock the enemy thing. It's great. Yeah, that that is a brilliance that I had not realized, and perhaps I am dumb for not have realizing it. I shall lead my cavalry cohort. Follow me! Yeah! 
flank right of ally center. This I can do. And now I'm apparently supposed to stay behind in reserve. So this is a little bit more of an equal battle. Charge it, enemy horse archers in center. Um, dude, there, there's a there's a cavalry charge coming in. You're gonna want to be prepared for that. Is my my cohort uh, my cohort is significantly less armored than he was before. Although whoever this crazy dude is right there, just whipping his way through the entire formation. Get back here! Get back here! There we go. I hit you. I didn't kill him because he had 100 health. But if we can nail down the horses... Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! I don't think I hit him. In fact, I know I didn't hit him, but we did knock down their entire cavalry force. So their cavalry is neutered. Lovely. Well, they have some more. 86 more cavalry. Time to charge horse archers. Or is that our cavalry? Oh, it is our cavalry. Time to charge the one horse archer. Alright, let's see if I can't obey my orders and charge the one horse archer. Come fight me! Face me! He's not facing me. Well, I have my orders and I'm gonna stick to him. Ooh, 43 damage is not bad. The horse archer becomes the hunted. Charge at enemy left cavalry. Yeah, he's the only cavalry left, but he's really booking it. I got somebody. Was it the cavalry? Uh, I got the one cavalry guy, but there apparently is another force of four more. I <laughs> just love it. Like, eight million one damage received, one damage dealt. Missed. Charge the center archers. I think that's you. And you went down before I could charge the center. But that's okay. Yeah, I think we've got this. I'm gonna go that again, because that was fun. Go! Go! Just hunt them all down. Although, really, there's not much left at this point. And it was a fleet! You've won the battle. So that's another pretty significant army completely wiped out. To, like, sure, it was only 460 men, but the last army we destroyed was like another 240 men. We've lost only 127 men in this battle. So, I think that opens up Kornig to attack. All right, see you around, sweet. And we get more positive with Lyanna, because, you know, we saved her. We didn't, but that was the, that was the story we tell people. And that'll be a nice pickup. I mean, more more garbage loot that we'll have to sell when we return to friendly territory. Which may take a little while. Traveling all the way back to Ox Hall. No, take Cranorag while you have the opportunity. Or, you know, if we can grab one of them, that'd be great. 90 man forces. Yeah, I'm gonna form an army. I've never formed an army before. So create the army. And I shall involve as many people who I can't. Because I don't have enough influence, I don't think. So how does this work? And will lords just join me in this army? Bell gear. And then... Our man thinned. That'll only put me a little bit in the negative. Will people just join my army or do I have to... 
Well, we'll find out. All systems nominal. Team 961, thank you for the follow. Hopefully you enjoy your time spent here with us as uh, potentially we... we the army. Okay, so it just won't let me do it. All right, so I'll take Belgear with me. We'll call that a wrap. I'll see if I can't get anybody else to join me. If not, I will disband this army and we'll just go home. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna disband the army and we'll head to uh, Sunion. Disband army. Alright, to Sunion where we get to sell all the things. And if another, uh, if another army comes up. We can join them. I anticipate that Mazdan is going to be invaded again, but it's actually not too far negative at the moment. So, I know that as I messed it over, that it's a negative 212, but that's partially because one of our uh, one of our towns was raided. Well, only 186. That's not bad. I will make that back in spades. Oh, good. There's a tournament, and we're at 100 health despite you know that one invasion, the actual invasion of the castle. A bear head. That would be a piece of armor. I was not aiming at you, but I'll take it. Oh wow, he's just like hacking through everybody. Is that Mata? That's Mata. There we go. Easy peasy. Another grand archer duel. Can't afford to miss too much. Based on the caliber of our opponent. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we've got two, two, four. Four on one. Are we going to sweep him? Sweeped him. Uh, it wouldn't be a proper Batanian tournament if it wasn't just a massive two-handed brawl. What you got? What you got? Oh, what you got? Gotcha. Alright, just us and the Fjard. With swords. Preferred heavy weapon. I missed. Oh, you son of a bitch. Firand has defeated me. Unfortunate. But not a bad battle, actually. I'm reasonably happy with that. Now let's go make our money. Because I happen to have a whole bunch of junk that I just know need. Yeah, I need none of those. Uh, don't need that. Correct hunting bill. I think I have a recurve. Uh, Nordic recurve that anything that's splintered and I don't understand this large bag of arrows because it seems to give me the exact same as the normal bag so I'm getting rid of that apparently it's worth more too all right let's just make sure that everybody is kitted well boots good gloves good padding good helmet I'm not gonna put anybody in that helmet it would have been nice to have the bear's head because the bear's head was 24 armor which you know is the same armor as that I could just keep collecting bear kit. Boots, good. Gamison, good. Uh, cloak, good. And hat, good. Hat is the same. I wish I could replace it. I honestly do. Because it's a terrible looking hat. Uh, shoulders, good. Gamison is good. You're actually wearing the same kind of Gamison. Same gloves and worse feet. Zeros, you're good. You're good. Good and good and good. Good, good. Better, better and better. And then, ooh, Timon the Newing will uh, will need new kit because he is brand new to our crew. So we do actually need to give him decent gear. Some of those. Uh, your armor is actually superior to the canvas, and that's quite nice, actually. Uh, this fine scarf, however, is superior. 
I'm not gonna give you this cap because your your helmet is almost as good. I will, however, go back and grab that shield that I threw away. Give it to you. And yeah, your your blade is probably better. We're good on those trade goods. I'm fine with three thousand gold for our little excursion. Not bad at all. Uh, what do you want? Stone goods? No. Is there anybody in the tavern? Uh, Blood Axe and Angisk the Swift. If I can find you on my list. Uh, I don't have you on my list at all. What do you do? <laughs> That's not a bad pickup. Uh, how many hours do we have in Bannerlord so far? Uh, in total, I'm at to like 56. So we're still learning quite a bit as we go through. Could actually pick you up. I don't really need any of these things, but having another trade person wouldn't be terrible. And you know, it would pick up somebody with the name of the Swift. Are you just not a wanderer? No, you are a wanderer. I wonder why you didn't show up. Because I don't have you on my list, but you're actually reasonably good. Uh, you're just another thug. I don't really need you. So let's talk to Enjikan the Swift. I think I have like two thugs that I can sell. So I can get rid of them and then pick up somebody else after I strip them for all their gear. Tell me about you. I could use somebody like you in my company. Here's 2,500 gold. Sure, why not? So we picked up another companion. Lovely. After, you know, we sold all of our stuff, but that's fine. We're not going to need to rely on her abilities for a while. Plan. So currently I am scout, but I think she was the better scout, wasn't she? This is why you pay more attention to things. And you are a... No, you were a rogue taxi, so I am still the better scout. That's okay. You can always use the decision. Because I've been playing for like five and I still can't really find a, po a point or fun stuff to do. Um... So, early on in the game, what you're going to do is you're just going to follow that initial quest line that they give you. So, you're going to go, you'll blow up the bandit party and do all that, and then they'll set you out and say, do whatever you want. Uh, the goal is, of course, to... You'll fight in various tournaments. You So, if you don't know about those, you can go to uh, different towns, and there can be tournaments in them, where if you win, you can get some interesting item. Uh, so, you can fight in various tournaments. You'll fight various bandit tribes and that sort of thing, and you'll generally increase your uh, your clan level. Uh, once you hit clan level 2, I think you can then speak to any noble that you'll run across. And nobles are the people that you're hunting down. By the way, if you don't know, uh, if you press the N key, it'll bring up the encyclopedia. And it has everything that you need to know. Uh, and so what you can do is you can find, select the kingdom that you want to join. So the uh, say you want to join the Asurai. Uh, all you need to do is find one of their nobles. Or you can just look for them in heroes and go with noble. And sort through it that way. Uh, so if you hit clan level 2, you can talk to one of the nobles and you can sign on as a mercenary force. And then they'll give you a little bit of money and you can you basically fight for them whenever they go to war. Uh, if you hit clan level 3, you can talk to the king of a various uh, of one of the um, one of the factions and that will allow you to join as a vassal. And joining as a vassal, you don't get as much money, but you have the opportunity to get castles. Like we currently have Mazadin Castle over here and we also have Nivian's Castle over here, you can tell because it has our little imperial eagle above them. Uh, so if you fight with the king, you have the opportunity of potentially getting yourself a castle. And you build your kingdom out that way. Uh, there's, It's one of those games where you kind of figure out your own fun. You f sort of figure out what's interesting to you. Do you want to basically go around and hunt bandit camps all the time? Do you want to become a master trader? Do you want to... It's like, what do you want to do? And I can understand uh, there are some games where that is just like, well, tell me what I want to do, because frankly, I don't really care. And... This is not really going to be a game that's going to immediately come to you and say, hey, look at all this fun shit. It's going to be like, here's a world, figure it out. Which can be intimidating. Uh, I recommend a YouTube channel called Italian Spartacus. Uh, he goes through a lot of different guides for like things, how to attack bandit camps, how to join with various factions, what are the good units in various factions, and that sort of thing. Uh, he does a lot of really good guides on that. We mostly just do gameplay. Uh, mainly because I don't think that I'm at an expertise level where I can like tell people the way it is. But we've actually just finished a little campaign here where uh, we were jo joined as part of an army, came in and retook Mazadin Castle for like the third time. 
and uh, they've now broken off to go home and get more stuff. They're going to go to various uh, various towns and villages in friendly territory. We're fighting for Vlandia, which is over here. I have a bit of a graphical glitch because one of my mods. And they're going to go back to Vlandia, and they're going to hire a whole bunch of troops, and they'll form another army, and they'll come back over here to do more war. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold Mazden Castle. So I did exactly that, and right after joining uh, the North Emir, I think, uh, the aim hit the fan, hit a... Brick wall are fun. Nothing is happening at all. There are no wars for in-game months. Can't attack other parties because I'm in a kingdom. There are no mid-sized enemies and looters are boring. And I can't support a respectable army off looter and loot village quests. Yeah, that's that's a reasonable complaint. Um, I haven't run into nobody being at war ever. Uh, we did in one campaign a while back on a previous save. We're currently on the beta branch, so that may have changed the aggressiveness of certain commanders. Uh, joining the North Empire, though, normally these three empires are really trying to kill each other. You've got three different empires that are trying to claim ownership of it, so I'm assuming you joined the North Empire up here. Uh, what's their current diplomatic status? Uh, the North Emp Western Empire is at war with everybody. <laughs> oh no, that's who they'd be with. So. Uh, I kind of recommend joining Vlandia just because they're the easiest to go with and they'll invade people pretty often. Uh, I'm really surprised that if you're playing with the Northern Empire that nobody's doing anything for in-game months. Uh, that actually does seem very odd. So, hmm. I wonder what's causing that level of stability in the kingdoms. Then I joined the south with Rega. Oof. And nobody's doing anything in the world? <laughs> wow. The, you must have, like, the most stable trading empires going on then. Um... Honestly, at that point, I'd attack bandit camps, although part of that is we're using a whole bunch of mods. There are a ton of mods for this game, and I actually really recommend playing with mods. The vanilla experience is pretty fun, but, like, assuming everything goes the way it should normally go, I'm really surprised to hear that you have months in-game without any, any actual conflict, so... Uh, I would join... I would restart a new game with mods, and there's a whole ton of them out there. Um, see if I can bring up my mod list. I'm literally checking this ability with other kingdoms and the support for war is always at 11% with other kingdoms. What? That is insane, man. Yeah, it sounds like you just are having some truly awful luck. And I, I'd hate to be the one to suggest it, but I kind of suggest that you, you that you restart. <laughs> Might actually be worth playing on the beta branch. Uh, so the beta branch is actually really fun. But we're playing with a whole ton of mods. I'm trying to bring up my... Yeah, there it is. So we're playing with uh, the Bannerlord Tweaks mod and the Community Patch, which help fix things and modify things. It also allows you to adjust things like tournament winnings, for example, used to be really profitable. You could basically run an entire campaign off of them. Now tournaments give you crap. Uh, so one of the things I did is I bump, buffed up all the tournament stuff so you could actually get some cool stuff doing it. Uh, we're using the Equipment Encyclopedia, which shows all the equipment on everybody inside the encyclopedia. Uh, improved garrisons, which I actually don't recommend because it's a little finicky, and if you don't know what's going on, suddenly you find yourself with 15,000 gold and suddenly at zero. All systems uh, nominal. Well, thank you. Thank you for the follow. I hope you hope, hope we can teach you and help you have a better time. I really think it's a bug because I've never run into a situation quite like that. The time that I did, what I ended up doing is I went to war and had negative 300 influence. So if you're just looking to start a war... Uh, just sign up with a faction and then go to a village and raid it and that'll declare war but it will cost you 300 influence which is really hard to get out of <laughs> so uh, but one of the big mods that I have is All kill bandits raise relations nominal. and that helps hey Naaman21 thank you for the follow as well so kill, kill bandits raise relations basically gives you a tangible benefit for just going around and murdering all the bandit camps because suddenly all the villages around you will like you and they'll sell you really good troops so I really do suggest them. Then, of course, I have my Kazate Samurai mod because I enjoy that sort of crazy thing. All right. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I think your game might be bugged. I hate to say it because I hate going... I'd hate to lose five hours progress, but it may be worth resetting. All right. There's no armies going on right now. I'm going to head down to Menruth and see if there's a uh, little bit of war going on there. I'm willing to bet that the person that we want, Saloon is probably still up in Sturgia territory. Although if not, like, if he comes south, we'll be able to grab him. Hey, Mazadon's under siege. Ooh, Hecard has created an army. Hecard might actually come to save my, save my army. 
So where did you create it? Yeah, there, there's no way Heckhart's gonna make it to my castle in time. Let's go see how, how many hundreds of people are assaulting Mazadon. Hey, there's Armafund. Although I don't really want to. I'm gonna go to Dungalese first. By way of Dungalese. Oh wow, he picked up a ton of recruits. Pierad, I want a rematch with you because clearly... Oh, hi. Caravan we could have attacked. I'm not, I'm not going to, but... Wait here until day. I mean, I should technically, like, do stuff during that day, but I'm not going to. Oh, good. The tournament. I was at this point because I amassed a nice army of 70 people and then realized I can't attack anyone. And supporting that army was literally running around for oh, doing deserted questions. Just keep on running for two more days. Yeah, um, so on that note, the game has become a lot more punishing if you don't understand the mechanics about how to make money. So what you're going to want to do before you sort of get too big or too elite of an army is you're going to want to look into purchasing workshops. So workshops are passive buildings inside of a city. You can have up to three of them in the vanilla game, but you can tweak it with mods. Uh, but they're passive buildings inside of a city, which will um, steadily make you cash. So right now we have a brewer in Ox Hall, a brewer in Sargo, and an oil press in Jacklin. So what you'll do is you'll look at the various cities, and each city and... Well, you'll look at the various cities, because this is where you'll, you will build your stuff. And if you look at it, you'll notice it says bound villages. So it goes clan, faction, information, prosperity, militia, garrison, food stocks, wall, and then bound villages. And the bound villages are the city, are the villages that support the city. And they send their wares to the city to do stuff. So what you can do is you'll then look at each of the bound villages and you'll see primary production for this one is grapes. Uh, Imog is grapes as well. And are you supported by this? Uh, you got Diamond Tamale, Glentail, and Morkhide. So Morkai makes hog, Lindhorn is grain, and Glenthergill is hardwood. You look for a city that has as many bound villages. I think four is the maximum. There might be a five, but I think four is the maximum. And then you'll look to see if any of them have any repeat resources. So the best one... I'm going to leave the, just for a moment so I can show. The best city is Asgar way down here because Asgar has like three or four villages that support it with grain grain turns into beer you come to Asgar and you build yourself a brewery here and it will just bring in stacks of cash now it's not as powerful as it used to be because they did nerf that as well it used to be that you built an, a brewery in Asgar and that was you bankrolled your entire game doesn't do that quite anymore but if you if you want to join the Aserai, and I kind of recommend you do if you're if you're looking to sort of support an army, Asgar and Sanala, both are fantastic places for breweries, and that'll give you, I mean that'll net you like you can see in our our clan, we, our two breweries are not optimal, they're still netting us nearly 100, and this is actually the lowest they've been in a while. This one was up to like 173, this one was at 120 something. They'll fluctuate a little bit, um, and so you'll build these uh, you'll build these workshops. So you'll go to the town and you'll, I, I can actually show you that a little bit because I, I want you to enjoy this game because I really enjoy this game. You'll go to take a walk in the town center. You'll need like 14,000, 15,000 gold to do it. Um, but you can earn that by going after bandit camps, doing tournaments and selling stuff. I mean, early game, that's not hard to do. You'll tell them that you either want to like walk in like the market district and currently my legs have become invisible. That'll happen. You don't need to worry about it. Floating heads are totally, totally accepted here in town. And you'll notice you've got a smithy over there, right there at 182 in the middle of the screen. You've got a, a... God, is it just a smithy here? Woodworker. There it is. So you go to those wood, wood workshop. Say you want to buy it. We're not going to. We don't have the gold for it at the moment. But you'll come into town... You'll find this wood workshop, and now you'll walk inside the wood workshop, and you'll speak to any of the workers. So, shop worker, talk to him. They say, I would like to buy this workshop, and he's going to say, it's going to cost you 14138 gold. If you have that gold, you'll click yes, and then he'll say, okay, do you want to turn this worker shop into anything else? Because, say, the, say ima imagine this town was phenomenal for woodworking. So it had a whole bunch of towns with hardwood being shipped into here. 
well, we want to buy this woodworking shop, then we'll tell it yes, and then it'll say, do you want to change it? And we'll say, we don't want to change it. And then we will have bought the woodworking. But if we did want to change it, say this place was great for grapes, uh, we would say, okay, yes, we want to change it. Then it'll give us the whole list of workshops and we select a winery and it'll start making that. And by doing that, you can make an awful lot of cash uh, that can help support you. Now, another thing you need to worry about is, so each of those bound villages will generate parties which will then go to the city in order to sell their wares. And that's affecting how much money we're currently making over at our breweries. Well, bandits will attack those parties. So you then need to protect them. <laughs> it becomes a very complex economic simulation very quickly. So you need to set up protection for those people until so you'll go around, you'll clear out all the bandit camps around the city, you'll clear out all the bandits that you can in the area, and that will allow the, the people to make, to get into the city, to sell their wares so that your workshop can make you money. Uh, so you'll want to have like two workshops up and running before you end up actually going to, th to, do, to build all that. Oh, you're familiar with Word? Oh, okay. Okay, good. Uh, so it's just that I'm currently locked in this transitional period to be fighting. Uh, so much problems. Sometimes the nobles have parties as small as 20. Here the neutral enemies are really shit and it's not really mid well bomb. Yep. Okay. So then, yeah. It really does sound like a bug then. Um, so if you're familiar with the systems in Rock On, I was not. Uh, I had never actually played any of the Mountain Blades before this, aside from whenever I played Warband for the Napoleon mod with a whole bunch of my friends. So that, that was the entire extent. So all of this was news and information to me when I was learning my way through, which is why we kind of got stuck a little bit doing various things. But if you're familiar with Warband, then really the game is just that with, with a graphical up, uplift and uh, a few other things. So. And if you hit like clan level five and you finish the mainline quest, you can make your own city. Warband was, <laughs> I have very high hopes for this one. So far, I've been told by other people who are more familiar with Warband that there's a lot of elements that are very similar to it and that they're working towards it because there's still a lot of development going on in this game. So it may just be that the game's not in a finished enough state to give you the kind of experience that you want. And so maybe if you come back in a couple of months. <laughs> Missed the last half hour, what did I miss? Uh, just us talking about the economic simulation. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> but we're about to join a tournament because I want to go fight somebody. I want to beat the hell of crap out of someone. Ooh, Highland Scale Mail. Yes, please. Can you get Highland Scale Mail out of a Batanian tournament? Let us find out. And you're dead. And you're not dead. Now you're dead. Ow. Ow. There we go. That worked. Uh, not just graphical, the battles are awesome. It looks like include overhaul warband. We just gotta learn new mechanics. Uh, I read the name City is... Dunglinese. <laughs> Dunglinese. I like the city. Just because Dunglinese is such a cheerful thing to say. Please beat Mata. She's not a very good warrior. How did you lose to Mata? It's because I gave Mata all this armor. Mata is our spice vendor. We've had her for a little while. She's not exactly what I would consider high-level fighting material. But that's fine. She's not supposed to be a warrior. She just keeps joining all of the tournaments. Come on. Oh god, neither of us can do the process of a bard, it seems. Oh, it was Zora's. How adorable. Alright, two-handed broadsword time. Yes. I hate it when I accidentally do into thrust. Come on. Gotcha. Alright, final round. Cause into thrust is like suddenly like, oh crap, I now I need to aim really well. Oh. Gotcha. That was farcical. I'm gonna get my groove for two handed battle back. Uh, she's a good archer and an okay swordsman. I suppose. It's just I don't want her to be constantly taking battles. Alright, so we have brand new armor. Lovely. And I actually do have a couple of people who need it. What I'm looking towards is the large-scale battle strategies. My... becomes a tent. Thank you. 
a commanding armies of a thousand men against another thousand and using all that awesome commands. It can be fascinating on the higher level battles. I do not understand nearly enough to do them super amazingly yet, but I'm working on it. I think I actually want to give that to him. Uh, this is not so harsh a loss. There you go, Channing. There you go. Uh, I might give you that armor, depending on what Shamir has. Shamir actually has better armor than that. Nice. Alright, there you go. Now you don't look quite as puffy. That's much better. Zeros, you don't need the Gamison, so I can sell the Gamison. Beautiful. Oh shoot, no, I have uh, I have another person. I can't keep forgetting my my new engineer. Hi, uh, I might have some armor for you. No, your armor is actually better than that. Nice. You don't even need that. She's got really nice armor. We're happy with that. I do have barbed arrows. We have 135 for selling that. That'll be fun. Start a new campaign to play along. Well, best of luck to you. I do hope that it does work out because. The same game, I've been having a lot of fun with it, and if you're a Warband veteran and you had a ton of fun with that, I'm mostly positive that eventually it'll get there. <laughs> May take a little while. Uh, Idruna, you were a mediocre doctor, I don't need you. Certainly not to, you know, sell for what I currently have. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of, what's your name? Oh, did you escape? I didn't sell them in time. Or did I? No, I didn't sell them in time. Our one noble lord that we stole has escaped. That's okay. So we got some gold, we got some equipment. Uh, Carp and Seth, then back to Senion. We'll swing by uh, Nivyansk, probably. Macedon is under attack, yeah, we know. Uh, I already spoke to Meldir. Meldir had nothing. To Tavern. Tavern has... Juna, Juna, I think was a... Th no, Juna was a mediocre rogue. Had no interest in him. So, that's that with there. Okay. Let's see if we can head over and see what happens to Mazadan. Because as far as I know... Oh, I do need food, don't I? Thank you. Great. Please tell me you're not selling grain for like 8 million a pop. 14 is not horrible, but it's not great. I will buy a thousand gold worth of grain. He's a madman. He also needs grain. What I really need to do is spend a little bit of time over here in this group and buy up all the super cheap fish. Unfortunately, my faction is currently at war with them. Uh, I gotta figure out where Heckard's army is at. Gather new Unsunk. Still down south. That's not gonna help me. We're gonna go take a look on our own. Or a fairly fast party, I think. And I can immediately bring in, like, another 50 people. How fast are you? How fast am I? 4.3, I'm in the middle of the woods, and I'm moving 2.1. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up to you. Why not? 3.2. I just need to go ahead and bite the bullet and head all the way over to uh, either Aserai or Sturgeon ter or Kuzay territory. Of Vlandia? Wait, what? Oh, no, by Sturgeons. Okay. I thought it said by Vlandians. It's like, really? Who's invading my own people? Negative 44 gold change. It's not terrible. There's friendlies. By now, I'd be amazed if the castle is still standing. I mean, it'll tell me when it flips, but. Yep, they stole it. As we expected. I'm actually really kind of disappointed that the uh, that they haven't been trying to take Cranarog Castle because it's the first one you should go for. It's 127. Okay, let's go figure out if there's a problem at Nuvansk, which there might be. Bandit camp or something. Hello, Nuvansk. How are you doing? Cervix hanging out in my town. Oh, we got looters. Let's see if we can't hunt them down. 
Hi. You can help our people. You need food? Uh, yeah, I already got that. So, nerd, you are outnumbered pretty heavily with some fairly significant cavalry facing you down, and you wanna. Okay. Men. Give them hell! Do that. Ah! I really need to up my cavalry numbers even more. Maybe just try and go mostly mounted. I can't afford to do it yet, but we're working on it. Hello. <laughs> 299 to that litter was not worth the damage I took in return, but 299 damage to the litter is pretty nice. Can't hit the broadside of a barn, apparently. That's okay. I don't need to. There we go. Just needed to be moving more. Good job, have we finished murdering everybody yet? Yep. Lovely. No injuries except to my pride. Four looters and 191 gold, not bad. And some gear. Good, my patrols can continue to patrol. I'm glad to see that you've improved back up higher levels. Hey, you leave my villagers alone. Lead me to your leader. Okay, so the area is actually still pacified. That's nice. By which I mean there's no bandit camps around here. But I can head back to Carp and Seth without worry. To sell all this looter gear. Eight gold change is not in my favor at the moment. Do I have to head all the way back south to clean up my workshops? Let's find out. Yeah, Sargo especially is currently getting overrun with bandits, I'd imagine. Good, another tournament that I can participate at low health. Because that's what you want to do. You want to participate in Batanian tournaments at low health. It's a surefire way to get all of the cool things. Okay, that's one for you. Oh, you're gonna die. Never mind, I take that entirely back. Who are you, stranger? That's Taman the Knowing? The random... Wow. My engineer kicks ass. Hey, fight each other. Thank you. I'm gonna kill you, Archer. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Play your enemies off each other. Ooh. Ooh, that looked like it hurt a lot. Hey, Taman the Gnome, you used to gain knowledge. There goes Melodier. There goes Garner. Alright, my engineer, uh, you have astonished and surprised me. I'm very proud to have joined you into my ranks. Now, if you'll please just let me win. I kind of forgot to actually check what we were getting. Uh, ooh, the bear head! Nice! The word is a bear head, that's what we need. Yes, bear head is what I need. It's what I crave. Okay. So I don't know who's getting this bear head, but they're gonna be one lucky son of a him. So show me armor. Bear head is 24 armor, so not good for me. It is decent for you, and you have the bear pelt, so it seems to make sense. Not gonna lie, a little bit ridiculous, but hey, congratulations, Shandian. Uh, I'm going to check. Give me the lucky. You get this hat now. And then Taman the Knowing is just apparently a murdering badass, so I will give that to him. Beautiful. And we'll go sell all the rest of this junk. I have melee weapons, which are all terrible. 
barbed arrows, which I need to get rid of at some point, and yeah, that's all. Absolute. Plus, plus the Swift doesn't have them. Now she does. Nice hat. Slightly better hat. Enjoy. God, I have two new members of the party that I need to actually, you know, keep track of. I give everybody horses. Plate harness. There you go. You're not really great on horseback, but uh, northern light harness. I think mine is. Yeah, I bought the really expensive one. Not the super expensive one, just the really expensive one. So I don't need any of that. I would like horses, though. It's actually fairly cheap. I will pick up some Batanian ponies. Give me some bonus. Batanian looks, now looks very Batanian. <laughs> He's really sort of getting there, isn't he? Mainly because I keep giving him all the kit that I get from, you know, fighting Batanian stuff. <laughs> Oh, he still uses his Volgo, because that is what he's skilled in. Alright, so we picked up more horses for more speed. I'm gonna need even more speed than that. I'm gonna need, like, six speed. If I can look at somebody and say, I am speed. Get down to Nunglees. As long as we're waiting for an army to actually generate. Oh, good. Morgan got him out of jail. What's a practice fight in Batanian lands gonna give me? Oh, Bo! Bow and a big sword. Jew. Aha. Aha. I should be using this bow for other things, but I'm not. These two just sort of murder each other. But hey. Uh, now give me your axe. Thank you. Yeah! Ow, I should have known that. Clubs are actually really good. I hate them because they're so dumb. But they're really good. Oh, throwing axes. Yep, that took me down. Oh, we're in front of those. I'll take it. Uh, that is a one-handed sword. That's new. Yeah, I've never actually seen Batanians use that in tournament, but I'm not going to complain. Maybe it was just a really big knife. Ugh. I'll head to Menruth. There's no real pressure at the moment unless they push on Nivansk, which sucks, but there's nothing I can do about that if they push Nivansk. Because my party just is not big enough. Good tournament. Could start marauding through random territory down there. I really actually should return home. I should return home like everybody else. <laughs> Shamer? There goes Wrath. Yeah, that's Shamer, I think. I know it was Zorus. I can never keep those two trip too straight. Please stop running into death, guys. It's kind of proving to be a bit of a problem. There we go. Oh, great. We have multiple people with really good hats. You have a really good hat. It might actually be better for me to... Ah, screw it. Come at me, bro. Surprise! So we got that going. Oh, I'm with Caladog. Why am I with Caladog? I don't want to be with Caladog. Caladog sucks. Now I get to fight Caladog and demonstrate how much he sucks. Either that or I'm gonna be eating my words on this. Although Caladog actually has some pretty good stamina. It's <laughs> that was just one hit. <laughs> Oh, you dick. I take it back, Caldog does not suck. Caldog has in fact demonstrated that I apparently suck. 
which I'm not happy about. Starbird? Or is this a noble of land? Okay. And you are a thug, so I don't need anything to do with you. Really don't have anything to do with anybody at the moment. I'm good on food. I have some flax and clay I can sell, sure why not. Cows will keep. You got 60 additional damage from a perk? Ooh, that's pretty nasty. What perk is that so that I can get it? I'm assuming it's a two-handed sword perk. So therefore not available to pull our masters like myself. Masters, of course. I may use the glaive, but we're still kind of dialing it in. Oh good, 72 on scouting. Hello, Senian. Good tournament. We're just going to go around trying to earn tournament winnings. Batanian tournaments are the worst place if you're trying to earn Batan earn that sort of thing, but hey. Got up to. 150? Absolutely not. Not in the Batanian tournament. Are you mad? Ah! That didn't work. Uh, who was my partner in that one? Oh, a Vlandian champion got overrun by Mata? Nice. Does anybody have an army actually going yet? I'd like to get off the tournament. Traveling to Siordas. Show me. Oh, interesting. So he's getting ready to invade. Is that where you're going? Who we may actually have him sandwiched. Follow. What's this? Make peace with Sturgia, please. Oh, I have no influence because I made that army and that was... In Gelther, I haven't even seen you in the field, you coward. Probably like joining his army or something. 7, 3.3, yeah, we're not going to catch him. You're sure as hell like I catch him. But we are at least going to push him away. So that'll delay the next shipment of whatever it is they're trying to get. Come back. Oh. That was really close. If I had been paying more attention, I would have had him. Okay, situation apparently is stabilizing. And you take me to near where I need to go anyway. CR does. Are you still traveling here? Traveling to Mazadan Castle to besiege. Again? Why? Why do we keep fighting over Mazadan? It's not even well placed. It's behind enemy lines. And there's Vuelder. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in Mazadan, unless you brought a seriously rich in army. You're not getting through that. How big is this hideout? 35 men? I can take that. We'll wait until nightfall to attack. Lie in ambush. Oh yeah, Hecard's army's just gonna get annihilated. I'm not getting involved in that. Uh, the champion is a cavalry unit, so not good on foot. Alright guys! That's not what I wanted. I wanted... Fire at will. <laughs> oh, I brought like all the sharpshooters, didn't I? Yes! You got this, gentlemen. They're just poor little hillmen. Oh, are they coming for us? Dude, that is some serious range, man. I'm impressed. I'm just here to delay them so they don't get in amongst my sharpshooters. <laughs> this is cruel. And I love it, but it is cruel. 
Follow me, boys. Follow me to victory. Oh, he's covered. We're never gonna hit him like that. Move him to the side. Yeah, they're stuck. Shooters are not ideal in this sort of circumstance, but they can hold their own. Sharpshooters are like the greatest commandos. They bring a crossbow with great range, and then they have the giant shields to go with it. This is why I want to make my entire army crosswomen or some form of bow. Oh, there goes Andrew the Swift. I don't need her conscious to take advantage of her scouting abilities. Come on. <clears throat> Brigand. What do we got left? 24. We're working on it. Zoros is down, but again, Zoros is basically invulnerable, so losing him into one of these battles is not the worst thing in the world. Losing one of my sharpshooters, I can't replace them. <clears throat> So I would appreciate it if you guys didn't die. Because if I die in this, then the whole thing goes. And as good as I am in the one-on-one -on -one battles, I'm not exactly ideal in a big group fight. Final fight. Yeah, final fight. So we'll take care of these guys and then we'll be good. You killed way more of my people than I wanted. I'm very angry with you. Let that be a warning to you all. I did lose three sharpshooters, that really sucks. Uh, what? Some equipment. Oh, never mind, I was looking at my stats. It's like, wait a second, that's actually really good gear. It's like, no, no it's not. Okay, so, town taken care of. Because it's not saying that. How are these armies doing? Yeah, not not going well. What's even worse is now that army's not available to defend my my city. He lost a lot of people doing that. Uh, near Murray Island. Bit of a trip away from where my city is. Ivyansk, of course, being right there. And on the path of being annihilation. That's great. That's great. It's fine. Well, on that terrible note, we are actually going to put in a cut here for the YouTube people. We're still going to be playing on Twitch, don't worry. Uh, but the YouTube people can only handle so much at a time, so we're going to put a cut in here for them so that they can, you know, go do whatever it is they want and watch these in nice, comfortable little chunks. So to my YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been Tarek. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see the notification every, every single time I miss one of these videos, press the little bell icon, leave a comment. We'll see you all in the next episode.